Organic India is a whole herb company. We respect the intelligence of nature and keep our herbal formulas as close to their original form as possible. The Vedic tradition speaks of the prana, or life force of all herbs, as a powerful tool for wellness. It's something which moves you at a soul level. Just to see the fact that Mother Earth is being nurtured, the farmers, every part of the chain up to the end user, from the seed to the actual essence of the herb, we call it the prana. It is very, very, very alive. So what this does is, the intent of the herb to balance or change something in your body is guaranteed to happen. When this kind of nurturing and a very conscious regenerative practice with the earth and biodynamic agriculture happens. As a doctor, it's important for me to see not just what comes in the capsule, but the entire chain of events which led to this. We treat our herbs as living beings. Handpicking and carefully drying our herbs preserves the maximum amount of their many beneficial constituents. While the chemical constituents of plants have been the focus of scientific research, further studies suggest that the microbiology of whole herbs could offer a subtle and potent therapeutic signature. The microbes that make up 90% of the cells in the human body are the same ones found in soil. Scientists believe consuming these beneficial microbes may increase one's microbial diversity, thereby supporting a healthy immune system. Each herb has an intelligence and effectiveness that is prescribed by myriad of compounds, many of which with actions yet to be quantified. We view every part of an herb as a valuable energetic gift that is magnified when taken as a whole. Organic India has always believed in using the whole herbs as opposed to using isolates or individual constituents of the herb for a very simple reason that extracts are never quite the same as the whole herb. We all know that the whole is much, much greater than the sum of its individual parts. And since ancient times, since 5000 years or more in India, even in the Rig Veda, one of the oldest texts, the use of the whole herb has always been documented. Never that of isolates or extracts or different properties from these individual herbs.